Brown, my name is Kelsey Donahoe, and I'm going to talk to you guys about my view on gay marriage and adoption, same-sex marriage and adoption. Um, I agree, I disagree with it, I disagree with it, I just, um, I, was, I grew up in church, so I believe the Bible is the Word of God, and that is how you should live, so therefore, I get my morals and my beliefs from the Bible, so I think gay marriage is wrong, and adoption, it's just, it's not how God intended it to be. He created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. So that is something that I live by. And um, there's a lot of scripture in the Bible that support that, you know, flat out tells you that um, homosexuality is wrong. One is um, Genesis 19, 5 through 7. It talks about how um, there were some men that wanted to have sex with other men, and they were talking about how it's a wicked thing. And, you know, wicked things in God's eyes, that's, you know, you're not going to be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven if you commit wicked acts such as um, homosexuality. And there's another um, scripture, Leviticus 18.22, it says, Do not have sexual relations with a man as one would with a woman. This is detestable. And that's just like the other verse I mentioned earlier. It's a wicked thing and it's just wrong. You're not supposed to do it. Um, and then there's also Corinthians 6.9. And this verse is basically saying that homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. So if you commit these acts, you will not go to heaven. That's just, it's just one of those requirements. You just can't do it. It's just, it just doesn't work that way. And I think that if you are against gay marriage, you need to stand by that. You know, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. It's a good quote to look at whenever you're talking about serious subjects like this. Um, and most Christians believe that homosexuality is a sin, so it involves choice, because many people believe that homosexuality is not a choice, and you're just born that way, and I disagree with that. I think that, you know, something, and people are different, everyone's different, but I think that some things happen in people's lives where they just kind of follow the wrong example or just experience something, and that made them want to choose a different lifestyle. I don't know if it's just to be defiant or something you just, I don't know. But um, I got a quote from an article called The Raw Story, and it was President Obama, and he said that um, homosexuality is a choice, and people are born with a certain makeup. And he says it's not a lifestyle choice, but it was biologically dictated before birth, and I think that's wrong. It was, that's not how it is. Something happened, like I said earlier, to make this person think that they have to live their life that way. And also something that has kind of, I guess, pushed the trend for gay marriage and gay adoption is um, tradition and change. You know, our world is not as traditional as it used to be, and our society is constantly, it's like evolving into something just, it's crazy. Things are just going very downhill, and the media pushes same-sex marriage and adoption a lot. There's tons of celebrities. That's how they live their life. You know, that's, there's tons of people that are higher up that people see every day and they think it's okay just because all these famous people do it and all these well-known people do it and support it. So I guess people are coming, um, they're, they're more used to it and they think that nothing's wrong with it. But that's what other people think. They say it's not a choice, but I disagree. I think that you do have a choice in whether you choose to be gay or not. Um, and a lot of studies shown on kids who were raised by gay couples, there's really no significant difference in their success rates, but, um, and that's kind of a hard thing to, I guess, rebuttal about because it's kind of hard to back it up. Even though there's no differences, I think that if a child is raised by a gay couple, I still don't think that they're getting the same impact of having a motherly and fatherly figure in the right way. So, disagree with same-sex adoption. And I think that a solution for this is just stand by your morals and on a government level, just don't vote for candidates that support gay rights, gay marriage, gay adoption. Just And, and you know, educate people who don't know about the, this issue because it's a, it's a pretty big deal and witness to the people that are confused about this just you know just be a good example be cross like to them and let them know that you know they don't have to be that way and there's a wonderful life ahead of them they don't have to be that way but just educate people who don't know anything about it you know knowledge is power the more people know the better off we'll be and just remind people that our country was built on the Bible it's, it's just coming it, our world is becoming something different but just remind everyone that our country was built on the Bible, and if you 
stay in, you have to stay in for something or you will fall for anything.